My name is Ansar Hassan and I'm a cardiac surgeon here at the New Brunswick Heart Center in St. John, New Brunswick. I have been on staff here uh, since 2009 and uh, one of the mandates that I was given when I first arrived here by Dr. Mark Pelche was to develop the Cardiovascular Outcomes Research Program. Over the past six to seven years, we have really developed a program that is robust in terms of its ability to not only ask research questions of relevance to our patients, but to actually answer these questions. In that time period, we have formulated the Cardiovascular Research Program in New Brunswick, or CoverMD. And initially, when we started the program, we were limited as far as the number of resources that were available to us. But having said that, with the existing cardiac surgical database that was, you know, that was already in existence here at the Heart Center, and the hiring of a, a statistical analyst to work with me, we quickly grew the program. And over the course of the past five to six years, we've really seen an emergence of a first-rate cardiovascular outcomes research program here in St. John. Uh, we pride ourselves on having been able to, to establish uh, multiple studies that have been recognized both locally as well as nationally that have been published in peer-reviewed journals. Um, and, and the focus of our research really has all along been the delivery of cardiovascular care in New Brunswick and more specifically the delivery of tertiary cardiovascular care in New Brunswick. And, a lot of the studies that we've done have looked at how is it that we're delivering this care, whether or not we can, we can do better, so that at the end of the day, the, the result of our research is more than just academic productivity. It's about improved patient care. And that's how it, for me, ties my two focuses together, or my two loves, which is, you know, being able to be a cardiovascular practitioner as well as being a cardiovascular academic researcher. None of what we have accomplished to this point uh, would have been possible without research funding. Over the past few years we've managed to get funds from a variety of different sources and that's been of great importance to us because it has allowed us to hire a variety of different research personnel to help us um, and to allow us to grow this program. The various personnel don't only provide us with greater capacity, but they also provide us with greater expertise to allow us to perform different research projects to, to tackle projects that we never would have been able to tackle before with, with the limited resources that we had when we first started. And the, the type of research that we do really is so that we can better understand how it is that we're delivering care so that we can improve patient outcomes at the end of the day. Thank you.